When running Facebook ads and targeting cold traffic, you have the option to either drive that traffic directly to your website or straight up into Messenger. Now this is something I've been debating a lot in my head if I wanna make a massive shift from driving cold traffic directly to my website or into Messenger. So in this video, I'm about to explain why I'm on the fence about this and why you should be considering where you should be driving all of your cold traffic to when you're running your campaign. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Real quick, before we jump into it, I've gotta tell you about my free course. Now, if you are trying to run Facebook ads, Messenger bots, email marketing, click funnels, sales funnels, copywriting, all that kind of stuff, you gotta jump into my free course called the Free Boss Lifestyle Course. All you gotta do is just head over to freebosslifestyle.com, get access to the free course. You're gonna learn a ton of valuable information about how to set up profitable Facebook ad campaigns, how to build out Messenger bots, how to build email campaigns, writing copy, building stuff in click funnels, all that kind of stuff. Head over to freebosslifestyle.com right now or at the end of this video, all right? So check it out. So basically, I've been debating in my head, do I wanna drive all my traffic straight to the website when targeting cold traffic? And the reason why I'm even debating if I should go straight to the website or into Messenger is because if I drive them straight to the website, if they don't buy, which majority of them are not going to buy if they're cold traffic on that first visit, then I pretty much wasted you know, potential or opportunity, right? And the opportunity that I see is by it driving them into Messenger, I can then have them as a Messenger subscriber, so then the next time that I wanna hit them, I don't have to pay Facebook again, right? If I have a good reason to get them into Messenger, whether it's giving them a promo code or giving them an exclusive deal that is a super, super cheap deal or maybe an exclusive product that's only available by me sending them the code or basically what I'm saying is you gotta figure out an excuse to drive them into Messenger, right? Because you wanna say, hey, let me send you a message, let me send you this private thing through Messenger and then you can drive them over to your website from there. So all I'm saying is, you know, drive them straight from Facebook to your website or drive them to Messenger, then to your website and there's so much more opportunity to have a cheaper touch point down the line with the messenger route, right? Because you get them as a messenger subscriber, then you just send out a message blast or you put them in a follow-up sequence and then you're basically hitting 80% to 90% of them on a regular basis because that's what I'm seeing as open rates and I'm not having to pay $15, $10 CPM to Facebook in order to reach them. So the downside though, of driving them into Messenger is not everybody has Messenger. You gotta think up an excuse. You know, what's the excuse? Am I gonna give them a promo code? Am I gonna give them a free digital download? What's the excuse that I have to go from Facebook into Messenger? And you may be looking at a higher cost per click. So if you look at cost per click, I'm usually getting anywhere from 30 cents to let's just say 60 cents. It ranges from different products, industries, targeting, stuff like that. Let's just say 30 cents to 60 cents cost per click to get them directly to the website versus to get them into Messenger, depending on my call to action and my offer to get them in there, it could range anywhere from 25 cents up to $1.50, right? So is it worth paying more to drive them into Messenger to then get them over to your website, at least for that first initial you know, interaction? In my opinion, I'm really starting to think that it is worth paying a little bit higher acquisition cost, a little bit higher click to get them into Messenger because if I'm able to reach them a second time, a third time, fourth time, fifth time, sixth time, seventh time, for free, pretty much for free, just by sending them a message to drive traffic, you know, to drive them to a landing page or wherever I wanna drive them, then it's worth it to me. So this is something that you definitely need to think about when you're running your Facebook ad campaigns. Is, I mean, this is what I think about all the time because when I drive cold traffic directly to my website, it feels like I'm just wasting money. It feels like I'm wasting an opportunity because I'm like, shoot, I'm paying 50 cents to get them over there and then if they decide not to buy anything, then they're just leaving and I get no residual value. That's what I'm all about is residual value. What is left over and how can I maximize my residual value from every ad dollar that I spend, right? So that's why I'm a huge fan of giveaways is because when I run a giveaway, I'm building multiple assets and I have a lot of residual value from that $20 spent on Facebook or whatever because I'm getting them as a messenger subscriber. I'm getting their email address. I'm getting them in a Facebook group. I'm giving them a promo code. I'm getting customers and all this kind of stuff. So when you're running your Facebook ad campaigns, 
Think about how you can maximize your residual value. Yes, you're gonna spend that dollar with Facebook. You know, what's gonna come of that dollar from Facebook? Are you just gonna get them to click and then spend a little bit of time on your website? Or are you going to get other things from that? Like, you know, if you have a pop-up on your website and it's saying, join our email list and get a 10% off coupon or 15% off, 30% off, whatever your pop-up is saying, right? That's a little bit of residual value because you're getting a small percentage of them or maybe it's a big percentage of them, I don't know. Um, you're getting their email address, but when I look at email versus messenger all the time, I'm constantly, you know, and I have a lot of clients that are constantly talking about building their email list and getting email subscribers and I'm just thinking, why are you so in love with email? Email sucks in my opinion because I'm seeing 80 and 90% open rates with messenger and then on my email list, because I'm still doing a lot of email marketing and getting email addresses, but on my email list, I'm seeing like, I mean, even a 25% open rate, which is technically like a decent open rate in email marketing, that still sucks when you compare that to a 80 or 90% open rate on Messenger, right? So yeah, I'm still doing email, yeah, I'm still doing Messenger and I'm still running Facebook ads, but then I'm starting to think, well, what's the best journey to put them on? What's the best route to put them on? And if I can put them on this route where I'm driving them into Messenger, I'm getting them as a subscriber, I'm then being able to maybe communicate with them a little bit more, follow up with them, um, you know, ask some questions like, hey, are you interested in the red one or the blue one? Hey, are you looking to buy something for a girl or for a guy? And get more information from them, add those tags to them. Then on my follow-up sequences, I can sell, I can pitch them on something that's red and that's maybe for a guy because I know that based on the questions that they've answered and the information that I have on them, that's what they prefer, right? And you can't exactly do that when you just drive straight Facebook ad directly to websites. So I'm just trying to throw this idea out there to you, get your mind thinking, right? Don't just go the easy way, which is just Facebook right to website, right? Go maybe, make me make them bounce a little bit around so that you get your, your value points, your residual value, and then send them off to their final destination. And yeah, you gotta be a little bit more crafty, a little bit more creative with your uh, call to action, your offer to get them to go the longer route. But is it going to be more beneficial for you? Is it going to be more beneficial for them? You know, maybe they will understand the product a little bit better by going through Messenger, or maybe you will be able to offer them and pitch to them a little bit more custom pitches based on them going through Messenger because you got that information from them through that route. As far as retargeting on Facebook, I am, I'm still running Facebook retargeting ads, obviously. I wanna hit them in Messenger and I wanna hit them in their Facebook newsfeed, right? I'm trying to hit them everywhere. Email, Messenger, Facebook group, newsfeed, Facebook fan page, hit them organically if I can, right? Um, so I'm still retargeting in the Facebook feed, but I'm driving them straight to the website at that point. I'm not gonna retarget and drive them into Messenger, which actually does work pretty well if they're not in your Messenger list or you have some massive custom audiences and like people that visited your website or engaged with your page and you haven't yet got them into Messenger, chances are you're gonna be able to get them into Messenger and as a Messenger subscriber at a pretty low cost because they already know, like, and trust your brand, hopefully. So definitely test that out if you're doing your retargeting ads, drive them into Messenger. But what I'm mostly talking about is because I have my top of funnel or my cold traffic strategy to drive them into Messenger first, then when I run my retargeting ads, I'm retargeting them straight to the website. So here's an idea. If you are running massive deals like a free plus shipping offer or you're giving out a 70% off coupon to get somebody to get them to buy the first time, right? Maybe think about this. Instead of driving them directly to your free plus shipping offer landing page, drive them into Messenger, have the offer be, hey, I want to give you this free pair of shoes, right? I want to give you this free cell phone case. And uh, I'm going to send it to you through Messenger because I don't want everybody to find this. This is a very limited, exclusive deal. So I'm going to send it to you through Messenger. I'm going to give you an exclusive link to a free offer. Or what I've done is I'm going to give you a 100% off promo code through Messenger. Then you can use that on the product page or sales page or whatever and then that's gonna discount the price of the product down to zero, and then you're just gonna pay for the cost of shipping. So the beauty of that is that, again, you're getting them into Messenger, it feels like a more exclusive deal, and then they're going to the product page so that you can then 
you know, messenger subscriber, hit them multiple times down the line, follow up with them. Hey, did you buy that product? Hey, are you still interested in that product? Why didn't you complete your purchase? Go complete your purchase. You know, stuff like that. You can annoy them. So instead of going Facebook to your free plus shipping offer, just go Facebook to Messenger. Give them that 100% off. Give them that link to your free plus shipping offer. And then you can have the opportunity to follow up with them with other messages down the line. That's all I'm saying. That's my two cents. Test it out. My two little cents. Okay. If you haven't yet joined my free course, head over to freebosslifestyle.com. You're going to learn a whole bunch of strategies like the one I'm telling you in this video. Hey, I'm just throwing ideas out there, right? You want to test the idea? Don't test the idea, take it or leave it, whatever you wanna do, right? There's a ton of information in my free course at freebosslifestyle.com, so head over there, learn all about these different strategies. These things just go on in my mind, I'm just like, all right, I just wanna test it, so, right? So I test it across all these different client accounts and industries and products and stuff like that, and some are gonna win, some are gonna lose, but at the end of the day, you have more residual value to, uh, I don't know, reinvest and use and leverage and all that. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment below, ask me a question, and I'll catch you in the next one.